we will revisit, and I think it's necessary, that we do revisit the founding protocols of NETLEC to promote inclusivity so that the, the organization is truly really representative. I know that I'm touching a wrong nerve now. It cannot be, it cannot be colleagues that the biggest sector of auto and steel is outside, where these big issues are being negotiated. But the same with the BBC. If it's representing the small black business, they must come in, but they must meet all the requirements. That's the issue. They must meet all requirements. I know there are basic requirements which we have put to the trade union movement. We want audited statement, we want this and that. They must put them. They must be so old and so on. Because the danger is that we can encourage a proliferation of many unions or federations. So it, it can be therefore, and we have to deal with these issues. And I want to say to the social partners, I've heard you very clearly. I'm going to take these criticisms to heart, share them with my bosses. And I think these engagement, painful as they might be, and I think, Comrade Peggy, you can share a story with Professor Percy where you are coming from. During the difficult times, but we have been able to engage one another and came up those tough negotiations with products. Sometimes not in favor of labor, not in favor of business, but some compromise. This, I believe, is very vital that if we are to address the many challenges which we face as a country. On unemployment, the country is banning colleagues. No time for rhetoric, no time for posturing. Let's go to the issues. The time has come for a new agenda for sustainable change for the sake of our nation and her people. And consequently, as NEDNEC, we must ask if we are capable to be catalysts for that change. Ask ourselves if we are fit for purpose or whether we should be consigned to the scrapyard of history, thereby giving way to a breed of courageous leaders ready and able to navigate the stormy waters that we find ourselves in as a country. And so my mission here today is to invite that introspection from this collective leadership that we are as gathered here today, in whom many in society place tremendous trust and hope. Minister Gwesi, as I welcome you in your new role as a Minister of Employment and Labor, I want to assure you, as we did yesterday at our annual general meeting to create the presence, that business is committed to work with government and with you to help the country navigate a societal compact and our compact that will deliver us out of your good for us. Go back to the drawing board to review and refocus our agenda. NEDLEC has to overhaul its governance system, its organizational and leadership capacity to enable us as social partners to navigate this new terrain. We must ensure that we are in, as inclusive as possible of all critical players. And it is for that reason, by the way, that BUSA and, uh, and BBC reached an agreement earlier on this year that should see the latter back as an active participant in NEDLEC and NEDLEC activities. We encourage other constituencies to do the same. We need everyone inside the tent, regardless of our differences. And Minister Mercy, this institution will need to be properly resourced if it is to successfully honor its mission. I have no doubt that we can count on you to persuade government to provide such support. The journey ahead is tough, but it is doable.